Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Angular community in 100 seconds every week. Angular defines itself not as a web framework but as a platform because it's not limited to the web only. To create mobile applications, we normally use Ionic. To create desktop applications, though, we can use Electron. Aristides Bampakos gave a short introduction during the September Angular World Tour edition. Microsoft released the beta version of TypeScript 4.9. It comes with a new satisfies operator. Until now, when you declare a union type to a variable and assign a specific value to it, then the type of that value was always the union type. With the new satisfies operator, that union type is gone. We can also expect an improvement for the inner operator, which can check if a certain object contains a particular property and is used for type narrowing in order to improve type safety. Chrome DevTools version 106 comes with improvements for bundled JavaScript files like Angular produces it. The main feature is a much better stack trace and call stack because DevTools lists only our application files and excludes those from Angular or other third-party libraries. This only works if the underlying framework adds metadata to its bundles. Good for us because Angular does already do that. Last but not least, we also had a minor version upgrade of Playwright and end-to-end -end testing framework to version 1.26 and Primingy also went up to 11.2. That's it. Wishing you a nice weekend. See you next Monday. Goodbye.